Hello, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to my science lab. Today, we're going to be doing a potato clock. These two big potatoes. And these <coughs> copper and zinc wires. What I know, the copper and zinc create power between them. What I wonder, can they power a house? <coughs> Good potatoes power my lab. The potato power an electric car. Or would it fry them? Can I turn one into a Franken potato? We're going to put the copper wire in and we're going to put the zinc wire in. One second. Oh, they made a hole. Two holes from last recording. And we did the last recording because we ran out of space. And now the copper one goes into the one with the zinc. And now the zinc goes into the one with the copper. Oh, this is tough. That was hard. And those two wires were connected to the clock. And now we're going to power the clock. Now this is what I learned. I learned that copper and zinc wires can create power through potatoes. A potato does not have its own power. They act as an electrolyte or a buffer. How cool is that? And this is the end. Bye.